Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, video. We uh, we got a case of uh, Miracle Booster Ultra Rare. Instead of just opening up the case um, right away, I just kind of wanted to open up one box real quick, and then we can like speed run through the the case in another video, just to give you guys like a good old fashioned uh, single box opening. Gabe wanted this one open first, specifically the one right here for whatever reason. So this is the one we're gonna open up on camera. All right, so here's the, the box. The Miracle Collection Ultra Rare Booster Box I'm gonna be opening up for you guys. So it's gonna start digging right in there. So comes with Gold Palette and Angel Feather, Neo Nectar, all the Rarities right there as well. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. The little display. So it comes with this little brochure, I believe. So advertising for both Buddy Fight and Vanguard. Talking about the show and all the stuff and everything that they got going on. So our box topper. So first one in this one, so we got Cecilia, Zerachiel, and Ezel being featured as both the VERs and on the gift markers. I'll open this one up real quick. So it comes with your three gift markers. Oh no, promo as well. It's the Dimensional Robo Dylander <laughs> uh, print, the correct one. So now this is the one that you can actually run. Uh, if you're, you know, a bad person who doesn't prefer the, the Lolly version. Anyways, so you've got your normal Protect Excel, and uh, one, of, one of each will be a special type, so you'll get one of these in per box, so Zerachio, Ezel, or um, Cecilia. So let's go right on to pack opening. So starting off, we've got Waving Owl, Craig, Iris Knight, Critical Hit Angel, Hotshot Celestial, and Dindrain is our first rare. Nice. Oh, forgot there's seven cards. So we also got Immensual is our second rare. So both of these cards are going to be really helpful in both of the builds that you're going to be building if you're building Gold Paladin or Neo Nectar. Keep an eye out for those two when you're building your deck. Yeah, good. Didn't get the little smidge on the end. We're just gonna pull that down. Slide the cards out. Saw something shiny back there. We'll get to that. So we also got tokens. The new mechanic introduced with Neo Nectar. Uh, this for standard is plant tokens. So you got one of those. Uh, Essence Celestial Becca. Spinach Advisor. Knight of Blue Skies, Shinak, Flame of Victory, Retrain, Arbaki, and our first Triple R, which is our Mighty. So that's pretty cool. So um, definitely got to look out for this if you're playing Angel Feather. Really good card. All the Triple R's in this set are really good if you're going to be running them. Should be running them. Uh, yeah, it looks really nice. Cool. So let's move on to our next pack. Did I miss anything else? No. Looks like that was it. Our Baki was our rare. Keep on missing that corner there with the packs. Alright. First card is Corolla Dragon. Syringe Lesser. Maiden of Splash. Foresight Courier, if I'm pronouncing that right. Dantical Retrain. Dindrain again for our first rare, and nice! Our second triple rare in the second pack, nice. So Knight of Superior Skills Bowmanes, um, really, really good card you're going to be running. Helps uh, thin out your deck, uh, all this other stuff. The other triple rare, sorry, triple rare, um, helps you uh, check for damage, add the triggers, and um, help you kind of set up for those Angel Feather plays. So both really good cards you want to be looking out for. Really happy with Bone Mains, as all of you may or may not already know that I'm planning on building Gold Paladin out of this set, so I'm very excited for that. Alright, Doctroid, 
Kirkadian, another Craig, got Tornus. Tornus is a really good card to come out of this set. Front trigger for Gold Paladin, heel trigger for Gold Paladin, excuse my phone. And Immersional again for a rare and nice first VR pulled. And it's Incandescent Lion Blonde Ezel. So that's pretty much the VR for the box. Nice. I already, already got started on that. I'm really excited. Really excited with this box so far. Can't wait to open the rest of the case to pull like six more of those. Or like five more, however that works. So next up for our next pack. Ooh, that was a nice clean pull right there. Uh, Broccoli Musketeer Cura Retrain. Another plant token. Some Phoenix card that I feel like is not that good because it doesn't have a gift. Draw trigger. Heal trigger for Angel Feather. Uh, grade 1 perfect guard for Angel Feather. And double R is Merka for Neo Nectar. Really good card for early game. And I believe that's it because the uh, PG is the rare. Can't really tell with these foilings with these rares because they just kind of blend in when I look at them through the camera. All right, next pack. So you got another of those uh, Phoenix thingies. Starter for uh, Angel Feather, First Aid Celestial Peniel. Doctroid Eater, Eater, Eater. Uh, Dancing Sunflower, Draw Trigger. Uh, Water Ing Elf, which is the heal trigger. Uh, really sad that they chose this to be the heal instead of uh, everyone's favorite Queen Bee. Uh, our rare is uh, Clyde Crest Lion, Gold Paladin PG, and single rare, uh, Lily of the Valley Musketeer Kyvent. So, uh, pretty pretty disappointing pack, but you know, that's, that's expected. We kind of killed most of the good cards already out of this, so we're going to be going through the rest of this pretty quick. Our first card is a starter for Neon Nectar again. Iris Knight, Waving Owl, Critical Hit Angel, uh, Hotshot Celestial. Our rare is Thousand Ray Pegasus. And our next card is Double R, Mailing of Trade in, yeah, Maiden of Trailing Rose. Pretty cool. So this is the card you're gonna be using for Neon Nectar when you're setting up early game. Uh, skill, you know, when it's placed, van or rear, you get a token, so that's really cool. When it's on van, you can uh, give three of your tokens 5k, so pretty good. Really good card. Um, obviously, Cecilia's going to be the one pushing for game. You know, you can't, can't diss trailing those either. So still helps selling up. T the tomato card, exploding tomato, or whatever it's called, it's really good as well. Uh, first card is uh, the other plant token. So there are two versions of plant tokens that you can get. Uh, you guys can decide which ones you prefer. Let me know in the comments below which art you prefer for your plant tokens. The red f red flower looking one or the uh, white one with the pink petals around it. So that's our first card. Mock Slash Dragon. A uh, really good card. If you're planning on building Gold Paladin, uh, look into getting copies of this as well. Really helps for finishing those games. Starter for Angel Feather. Another crit for Golds. Another crit for golds. There he is, Exploding Tomato. This is the card I was talking about earlier. Uh, it lets you draw cards uh, by getting rid of your tokens, which you generate really easily. And then at the end of the battle that attacks, you can retire it and it gives you two more tokens to attack, or not attack, uh, to boost your attacks. So that's really helpful as well. So that's our first rare. And our second rare is Evil Slaying Swordsman Haugen. So a really good card as well for Gold Paladin. All right, we are down to three packs, I believe. So this is third to last. First card, Knight of Heroism, Tornus. Syringe Lesser. Knight of Elegant Skills, Gareth. So really important, you're gonna be running those bone mains, you're gonna be searching out that Gareth. Draw Trigger, Donticle again. Our first rare, Underlay Celestial Hesedial. Uh, Pretty good, pretty good retrain there. And we got Mobile Ho Mobile Hospital, Feather Palace. So this is gonna be kinda like your finisher for Angel Feather, uh, kinda like all the other ones that uh, 
uh, protect clans in the beginning, kind of like Deer and um, Antlion, all those uh, finishing cards. So really good, uh, stops your opponent from calling Sentinels, gains 20k, uh, has a high cost if you happen to flip all your damage down, but uh, of course you're going to make it up by switching your damage. So really good card. So excited for that as well, seeing all those Angel Feather combos coming up in the locals. First card is Corolla Dragon, Spinach Advisor again, Doctroid Eater or Eater. I was about to say Force Trigger, Front Trigger, Heal Trigger. Lop Ear Shooters are first rare. Uh, pretty decent card. I do feel like uh, the Counter Blast and like the skill itself is kind of funny just because you call it after you reveal your drive checks, after your Vanguard attack, so it's kind of wonky in my opinion. But still a pretty good card for uh, extending the number of attacks you do. And our next rare is Fruit Basket Elf, uh, which became a really good card after being retrained. So yeah, really good there as well. All right, oh, we got two more packs. So this is this one is second to last, there we go. So now I know exactly how many packs we got left. I promise this time. Doctroid Circadian, so we got the vanilla with 15 shield for uh, protect clans. There's our uh, 10K vanilla for force clans, Maiden of Stalic, so no skill with the 10K shield, 10K grade two. Essence Celestial Becca, uh, Crit Trigger, Trigger, I can't talk, can I? Night Queen Musketeer Daniel, Critical Trigger, and Chestnut Bullet, Critical Trigger for Neon Nectar. First rare is Million Ray Pegasus. So Million Ray is also really good because uh, Continuous is whenever you start messing with your damage, it gets 5k or uh, for its base or 5k in shield if you're going to guard or intercept with it, which is really nice. And Double Rare. White Hair in the Moon Shadow, Pelinor. So Pelinor is a kind of funny card. Um, probably you may or may not mix it with your Ezel build. Uh, probably not. There is a, there is a, a Pelinor build that specifically re revolves around Pelinor and Mox Slash Dragon, if you may or may not know. So you guys can look forward to that as well. I'm probably going to be messing around with that. Um, yeah. Kind of iffy card just because of how much soul Gold Paladin use up. But... You know, still fun to mess around with. This is the last pack. So we're starting off with Maiden of Salix, Gareth again, Shocking Shot, Nuwakiel, Draw Trigger for Angel Feather, Heal Trigger for Angel Feather, and our first rare is the Grade 1 New Nectar. Uh, PG and finally is a uh, secret guardian beast Nemean lion. So Nemean lion is also You know one of those budget cards. It's when it's placed it gets 3k or 5k in shield So it can be good for a shield or good for extending attacks and getting those numbers 22 or 12k base hit those 12k Excel and protect clan base vanguards and yeah, that's pretty much it. That was the entire box. So our main high rarity pulls consist of these three. So we've got Blonde Ezel, Bow Mains, and Armighty, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So yeah, uh, that was uh, pretty fun to unbox just from like the rest of, uh, compared to the rest of the stuff that we have. So there's plenty of more of these to come when we unbox the rest of the case, which is coming soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments if you're excited for this booster set. Uh, let me know if you guys wanna see more unboxings like this in the future. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm Richard, and I'll see you all next time. Before ending this video, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Sunthorn Games for providing us with the case for Ultra Rare Miracle Booster so that we could open it up for you guys on the channel. So thanks again to Sunthorn Games for providing that for us. Thanks.